Hey everyone, Andregatz here and welcome back to my channel! With the doors now open to the world within expansion, the hype is real and many of you are already 80 and even start bringing over your army of alts. And what better time than now to sit down and plan out some easy gearing strategies for both your main and alts. And today's video is gonna be all about that, finding effective ways to utilize the new renowned levels to obtain 5 high item level gear pieces. The gear available before Season 1 is quite limited, but these particular items stand out and can significantly boost your character's power. Keep in mind that thanks to the Warband system, reputations are now account-wide, so once you unlock these items once, you can purchase them for every single alt. The main goal is to reach specific renowned levels to unlock these valuable rewards. First of all, you can obtain gear for the chest, shoulders and helm slots depending on the faction. By reaching renowned 7 or 8 with these 3 factions, the Council of Dornogal, Hall of Olarathi and the Assembly of the Tips, you can purchase items at 584. Each of these items will cost 2600 resonance crystals. Think of resonance crystals as the new Dragon Isle supplies, almost every activity will reward you with them, so there's no really a need to stress about farming them. Additionally, thanks to the new Warband system, these crystals are transferable, meaning that you can funnel them all to a single character if you prefer. Now let's cover some specific items that you can obtain. When you reach Renown 7 with the Council of Dornogal, you can buy shoulders from Odidor Bowers, the quartermaster in Dornogal. At Renown 8 with the Assembly of the Deeps, you can acquire veteran head armor from Woxmanger Squeak, the quartermaster in Gandorgas. Finally, upon reaching Renown 7 with Halofall, you can purchase veteran chest armor from Aurelia Steel Strike, the quartermaster in Merelda. Like I said, all of these items are 584, but they can be upgraded further using Valor Stores and Crest. Now, if you are wondering how to reach those required renowned levels, well, the answer is quite simple. Just stay active in each zone. Complete every single quest on your map, finish war quests, do bonus objectives, kill rares and loot treasures. And trust me, by staying engaged and active in the zones, you'll quickly find yourself reaching those levels at 7 or 8 without even realizing it. Alright, moving on, let's talk about how you can obtain a 571 necklace. All you need to do is reach Renown 5 with Hall of Alarathi and then you can pick up the quest Those Who Fell. This quest is given by Kira Flamestone and you can find this NPC at the Spreading the Light World event area. Completing this quest along with a quick follow-up will reward you with the honorary tinderbox and guaranteed item level 571 necklace that can again be further upgraded. This net comes with Versa and Critical Strike as its default stats, but if you are lucky enough, well, maybe you can even roll additional stats. Like I already said, to quickly reach Renown 5 with Hall of Arathi, it's best to clear the whole map, like killing rares, completing quests, finishing war quests, bonus objectives, and especially the ones in the Spreading the Light event area. And to unravel the final third of this video, pun very well intended, <laughs> you can obtain a customizable 571 trinket by reaching Renown 6 with the severe threats. So by reaching Renown 6, you can go and buy this trinket called Nerubian Pheromone Secreter, which can be purchased from Hiteki. I don't know, spare me the pronunciations please here, because these names are ridiculous. You can buy this trinket for 450 cash, a new currency earned exclusively through doing various activities in Ashka Head. While this trinket offers a useful passive effect, what's more exciting about it is that it is customizable. And what I mean by that is that it has two special fragrance sockets that provide secondary stats when equipped. Depending on your best stats, you can buy the respective fragrance from vendors in the City of Threads for 150 cash each. More specifically, the Mastery fragrance is available from Rej the Dying, the Haze one from Tej the Undying, then the Versatility fragrance is sold by Asia Kersi Sallow and the Critical Strike one is sold by Venom Dan. To quickly reach the requirement of Renown 6 with the severe threats, just focus on killing rares, completing quests, war quests and basically just doing any activity that you can in Ashka Head. There is something to keep in mind with this Renown. You'll quickly realize that this faction works in a complete different manner than the rest. You don't get a direct rep with severe threats, but instead the rep you gain in the zone is divided between three sub-factions. 
The severe threats include three different packs, the general, the vizier and the weaver, and each of these packs will have nine ranks in total. Each time you complete a full rank with one of these sub-factions, your overall renown level with the severe threats will also increase and this is how you'll continue gaining reputation. It might feel a bit slower, but keep in mind that you also have some weekly quests to do, which give a good chunk of rep. To summarize, there are several easy ways to get powerful gear before Season 1 begins, and specifically by utilizing the new renowned levels. Remember, these reputations are all account-wise, so you can unlock these items for all of your rounds. The only thing remaining is to just go and farm the currencies. As I mentioned, you need the resonance crystals to buy the three armor pieces, and then you need the currency of cash in Ashka Head. Both of these currencies are transferable so you can steal from your other routes and, you know, send them over to the one that you want to buy the gear, very conveniently. While this gear will not stand long, it is still very good in early progression game, and especially really really good that you can't buy it with as many outs as you want. For now, I'd like to thank you all for sticking around and watching my content. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Also, hit the bell to stay up to date. Good luck with whatever you are doing and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!